deck is finally being painted. So this is the before shot. Going to get it all painted and looking good for the wedding in a few weeks. Taken everything off. So there we go, that is the before shot. to move some of this stuff but it's big and heavy but we'll leave that to the boys to take off So the lower deck's been painted, although now it's a, a light grey. You can see all the branches and leaves that have fallen. Never mind. And they've done the railing. And tomorrow they'll come and start on this section. And they've got to do the stairs down there still too. Hello little birdie. There's all the furniture sitting down there on the grass. Um, yeah, so they're going to come and do this deck tomorrow. But looking good so far. G'day guys! Welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. How are you? Now, this is the spin split cup pour that I did the other day it's pretty much dry there's just a little bit of wet area still in the middle there but I thought I'd show you so it hasn't really changed from uh, when you saw it last except that it's dry of course so it dried beautifully as you can see love it so today um, I'm going to do another spin piece for you. Let's put that one over there. Now, a lot of people have been asking me, what do I use? How do I put the canvas on? So I'll just go through that real quick. This is a cake turntable that I got from eBay. I've just got some um, foil on it to keep it clean. When it gets really grubby, I can just throw the foil away. Now, the canvas that I'm using is pretty much the same size that's you can't see it but that's where my turntable finishes so it just sits snugly I put some push, push pins in so that when I do take it off the turntable I can then still put it somewhere without you know it sticking so it just actually sits in there quite nicely okay if you're using a smaller canvas um, this is that golden black and red one I did the other day. If you're going to use a smaller canvas that obviously isn't going to fit inside your turntable, you can, like, if you're going to really spin it hard, you'll have to put some, some double-sided tape. But if you're only going to spin it gently, it doesn't really move. But just to be on the safe side, you could put some double-sided tape over there like that um, and just sort of stick it down, and that should be fine, Okay. So that's those two. So let's get started. I've got him prepped. I'm just going to sit him there. I don't know if you can see. You can sort of see the outline there of, of the turntable. Right. <clears throat> now, I ordered some new split cups just from eBay. You can get them from Amazon. Uh, if you know someone that's got a 3D printer, get them to print them for you. This one's got four compartments, one, two, three, four. This one's got five, one, two, three, four, five. The only issue is, like, I wish whoever's making these could make the compartments the same size because obviously this one here is much smaller than that one. So if you guys are watching, we need them to be all the same size, please. Don't give us compartments that are different sizes. But I'm going to use the four compartment today. And I'm going to use colours inspired by Rodney King. You can check him out on Instagram. He did these colors. 
black, blue, yellow, and pink. So I'm going to use those. I'm going to get my gloves on. I'm going to pour my black background. That's a different black to this one. This, this one's thinner. This one is two parts pouring medium and one part paint. And then my other paints, which I want to be relatively thick, are one to one. So let's just get this out. I'm using a combination of Elmer's Glue Oil, Floetrol and water. And then uh, just to get it a nice little consistency, like a mound on a mound. I was going to spread this with this, but let's just see what happens if I can like, maybe spin it out. Oh, I'm sorry if the camera might bump a little bit, because if I bump the table, then um, it's bumping the tripod. Okay, that's not really working all that well. <laughs> let's just do this. I got it started anyway, didn't I? There's a lump in there. Now, this contraption here is, again, eBay purchase. I love eBay. I live on eBay. I get everything. And I just, when I'm doing my searches, I just click, um, you know, Australia only. Because the way that the, everything is at the moment with the coronavirus, overseas shipping can take, oh, it can take like four to six weeks. So I just click Australia only, and then I just hopefully try and buy from Aussie suppliers, which... I can get in, in a, about a week. So that's what I do. Now I'm just going to, uh, so anyway, it's it's a doggy pool, you know, like a doggy bath. And uh, it, you can fold it up when you're not using it, you can fold it up. Um, I just lay um, puppy pedal pads in it and stick them to the sides so that they don't flop down. And I can usually get, I don't know, like, Depends how messy I am, but I get quite a few pores out of it before I have to change the pedal pads over. I'm just doing some finger painting to do my sides. It's just easier than trying to do it with the palette knife. And then I'll have to clean my gloves and we'll get started. So I've picked colours that are nice and bright. I think this technique really lends itself to really bright, smack in the face colours. And of course, you're going to get that pop with. Um, your bright colors against black. So let me just wipe my hands. I've got a damp cloth here. Um, oops, I missed a bit. Now let's level this off. Smooth it. So that's why I've got these beautiful bright colors. They're all Montmartre colors. I've got the black, of course. I've got their medium yellow. They do two, two yellows. This is the medium one. It's sort of a bit more of a, um, how can you say it? The other yellows, I'll show you. I'll show you the difference. <clears throat> That's the other one. And this is the one I'm using. I just like this one better for some reason. The other one's like a little bit too pale. I don't know. Now, um, how am I supposed to layer my cup now? That was silly, wasn't it? I should have layered my cup before I did this. All right, hang on. Let me just put him down over here. On the ground, I've actually got a pedal pad down there on, on the ground in front of the window, and that's where I put my all my art to take photos so it's I've already got one sitting there so it's just there right let's layer these babies now leaves a mound I don't know if I can if you can see it because it might not be focusing properly but leaves a mound on a mound Actually, that might be a little bit too thick still. Well, no, I'm going to go with it. I did have to thin the magenta down a little bit. So you're going to go in there. I'm not expecting these to be full. They say on their eBay page that they hold 600 mils of fluid. <clears throat> but as I said, because this end one is smaller, it's going to look as if it's much more full. 
But once I start pouring and it's all sort of coming out at the same time, it, it should be all right. Now the yellow next to that, I don't want to put yellow next to black because you know it goes that icky baby poo green color, which is not attractive. Um, yellow next to the pink or the magenta, you know, it'll kind of look, I don't know, we might get a little bit of orange because red and yellow make orange. So <clears throat> pink and yellow may do similar. I'm not sure. We'll see. See how lower that one is? And there's exactly the same amount of paint in there. Now this one is um, deep cyan blue. They don't make it in that big two litre bottle, so I have to buy it in the the little tube. Maybe I can contact this eBay person who sold me these and say, can you please make them the same size, the compartments? Hey? He probably doesn't realise. He's probably not a, an acrylic pourer. He probably just, or she, I shouldn't just generalise, should be, should I? It could be a she. He or she probably doesn't pour, so doesn't realise that we like them to be the same size. Okay, in goes the black. Doing the black on the outside because I'm going to try and get some negative space. Have you thickened up? Have you? I told you not to. Mm, that's all right. And in you go. So I've got some other color schemes that I want to try. I'm going to try like an orange and black and grey but if you guys have got any color schemes that you would like me to try just pop it down in the uh, just in the messages below and um, I'll see if I've got the colors because I would like to do a few more of these split cup spins and then the other thing I would like to try is um, like layering each compartment with different colors or maybe different shades so a light pink and a dark pink in there maybe a yellow and an orange in there a light blue and a dark blue in there and then a black and then just see what happens when I pour those out so let's get the canvas back now and again it just sits on there nicely and I'm not going to spin this too too crazily so you know if I was going to spin it really mad then you know I might have to think about putting some double-sided tape underneath the canvas just in the middle get out but um, I don't think I'm going to spin it too too madly so it should be fine okay now this is always the tricky bit how to how to pour these if I stand here at the back of the table you're not going to be able to see so I'm going to come around the side of the table <clears throat> now when I see how they're all sort of coming out at a different time I don't know what that is must be a little bit of I don't know so they're all coming out at a different time because they're all at different heights in there so I might just pour a little bit out actually I just want to do that to see if I can get them to all come to the edge there we go all right now I'm going to do a ring pour now I pour in a clockwise motion and I need to get really close. So if I get really close, I can make a really nice little circle. So pour in a clockwise motion. And then I'm turning my canvas in an anti-clockwise motion, the opposite way. I'm just going to concentrate so I might not talk very much. Trying to stay in the one spot. With the other one I did, I kind of made like a, a serpent. Oh, this, this is making a kind of a serpent as well because I'm spinning it more. Maybe I need to slow down with my spinning. So I have like one big swirl in the middle. 
because I've spun it a couple of times, it's, it's like making two rings. I've probably got three rings now inside each other. See what happens if I slow down my my spinning. I'm just making little circles. The closer you get to your canvas when you're doing this, the more control you're going to be able to have. And just your rings are going to be more round instead of wobbly. If your hand is quite high up. Right now I already like that center so I'm going to kind of move away from that center a little bit. So I don't want to, whoops, oh my gosh, I'm going crooked. Right, see how it's kind of moving away now from that center piece? Because I really like that center. I'm going to try and move away from it a little bit. It's just trial and error, really. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm still very new to this. This is really only my second one that I've done. It's amazing how much coverage you can actually get with just 400 grams of paint. This is only 400 grams of mixed paint because I did 50 grams of pouring medium and 50 grams of paint. Oh, now my hand's starting to get cramps. And the background was 80 grams of pouring medium and 40 grams of paint. So it was a bit thinner. Oh my gosh, these colors. <gasps> wow. So I sort of do a little bit and then I move. That gives me this little, I can't point, but you can see it gives me that little kind of feathering look. Oh my gosh, my hand is starting to tremble now. And I have to support it. The hand that needs the hand. It needs a hand. Nearly done. I'll just finish it off here, hey? Didn't think I was having so much paint. It's a bit tricky towards the end. I mean, I'm going to tip a lot of this off, I guess. It just gets a bit tricky towards the end when there's not much paint and your arm starts to cramp. All right, I'm going to leave it there because my hand's shaking. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow, look at that, you guys. Love this. This is the center that I was hoping for because it's the centers that are really pretty. I mean, this this stuff down here, it's okay. I'll tip some of that off, but that's that middle bit, that's what I'm after. So this, this can go. Huh. Now let's give it a bit of a, a spin, just a little spin to begin with. Let's see what it's going to do. I might just give it a quick little torch because I can see lots of bubbles. Whoa, settle down, big boy. It's a full can, it's a new can, so they, they do that. Now, this area here, I don't want to lose that. I may even keep negative space. So I'm going to actually tip my canvas. Um, and just try and I might try and go in a bit of a circle actually. Oh no. I just want to get some of that paint off. I 
there's always something in there. It's just the, the yellow was a bit blobby for some reason. All right, I'm going to spin this again. See if I can get some of that top bit to go. How's that looking? Yep, you're good. No, oh, no, I shouldn't. I shouldn't play with it. It'll just make it worse. All right, so love this. I'm going to keep that black there. Don't want to touch that. This swirly bit here that I did towards the end, that really needs to go. I'll do that and then just give it a bit of a spin to help that go over because I've just pushed it towards that edge. And then, oh, I'm losing a bit over there that I don't really want to lose. Wow, look at that, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't really spin it anymore. Love this. I don't want to lose that. Hey, we can't lose that. This blob is annoying me. What is that? It's just a blob of paint, but I'm going to have to try and blend it a little bit. So it kind of looks as if it needs to be there. Oh my gosh. See what happens when you put yellow with black? All right. Um, It's not exactly what I wanted. I think I sort of spun too much off, but I'm, I'm, I am still happy with it. I'll take you down so you can see this blue. Oh my gosh, it is amazing, amazing. I kind of think that I need to take more off down there. That's, that's too much black just there. I'm gonna see if I can just maneuver this without ruining it down to that bottom corner a bit. Oh no, I'm losing my pink. No! I'm gonna lose this. Alright, come back, come back, come back. Alright, that's it. Um, actually, that, that little swirly bit there can probably go. So a combination of tilting and spinning, I think works nicely. All right, I like that better now. What do you think? What do you think? I got my black negative space, yay! Composition isn't exactly what I wanted. I'm wiping my hands with these dirty cloths. It's really not doing anything. I need to go and put another cloth. Um, Composition-wise, um, it's not exactly what I wanted. This is this has kind of lost its circular motion. It's kind of... But anyway, look. It is what it is. I wonder if I've got any more black. I'd like to just... Smooth that out a little bit so it doesn't look as if I've just kind of stopped there. Might need to make a little bit more black in the future and just keep it for when I'm finished and add a little bit more to my my corners because it oh, sticking my thing in there. Um, because I do I do like the black negative space. All right, I'm going to get you down for a close up. I'm just trying to think how I could have made See this ring here? It's it's got a lot of black in the middle and I've lost a lot of my pink. Maybe I was going I was doing quite big circles maybe if I make it like thinner go faster then I wouldn't have so much black and I wouldn't lose my pink 
you know what I mean? So instead of making big circles, slowly make smaller ones around and around. And that way when I stretch them, they'll only stretch out to be maybe that size, maybe. Anyway, let's have a look. You can't really, oh, you can't really see the blue from up there. You're not going to see it till down here. I'm going to turn the ring light off. Hang on one sec. All right, turn that ring light off. Now, hopefully, you can see the the blue. It's it's a bit glary. When I take the photo of it later on, <laughs> you'll see. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. If I turn my other light off, hang on. Yeah, it's still showing a little bit glary. That's okay. But this is what I wanted to show you. Look at that. <laughs> it's like some weird alien creature. <laughs> that is so funny. And look at those little pink wisps. Wisps. It's a funny word. So, and over here, see how these little... Oops. When I was doing my, my rings... I did a ring and then I moved the canvas and I did a ring and I moved. So that's where you get these like little spikes happening. Look at that. That is just amazing. And then over here, the pink. This, I kind of lost a little bit of my pink, which is a shame. I might try these colors again at some stage. I'm just trying to show you without the glare, but not happening. Black is a difficult color to photograph. So what do you reckon? Do you like that one? Oh, I love it. Love that center. Maybe I'll just crop the rest out and we'll keep that. <laughs> that is amazing. All right. Thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you've enjoyed this little video. Get your spinner out. See, that's it there. I'll show you the side of it. See, that's my little my doggy spinner. So, yeah, get your spinner out. Have a go. Order yourself a split cup or you can make one, just a, a cup with some cardboard down the center um, and have a go. They're so much fun. All right. I'll see you real soon for the next one. All right. Bye for now.